Hey guys, what is up? This is Swift here, and today I have a very exciting product to give you an overview of. Uh, I've recently made this purchase, and it isn't exactly a new kind of thing that's going on around the uh, internet, but uh, you should know already if you have followed my videos a few years ago, uh, I was really, really hyped about uh, these Korean monitors. And what you're seeing right now here is a newer model, and uh, I've decided to change uh, to a different uh, model mainly because I needed a multi input um, monitor. Uh, the previous one is the basic version which had only uh, DVI, dueling DVI in. And this one I have here right now has a built in scaler and it allows for a few different other uh, input options besides DVI. Uh, the main reason why I want to do that is because I want to hook up my uh, game console to be able to play on the screen and that wasn't possible before on the uh, basic model. Now uh, I've used the Achiever Shimian, that's the previous model that I have and uh, it was amazing. I, I would just say that it is amazing. It's great value for money. But uh, enough of that. I've sold that away already to fund my recently this upgrade. Uh, I would call it an upgrade anyways because of the additional ports. And this monitor here is the Qnix um, QX2710. And this is the DP Multi, I believe. And it's the True 10 version. Now I have this chart right here. Uh, the exact name is QX2710 LED Evolution 2 DP Multi True 10. Now uh, the DP Multi version is basically just a uh, multiple input for the QNIX monitor. Uh, and the QNIX monitors are very, very popular, uh, mainly because they are overclockable and uh, you can achieve up to 120 hertz and for gaming uh, for people who try that 120 hertz gaming uh, is absolutely amazing especially at such high resolution and a great great monitor for display color reproduction etc so uh, this is the true 10 edition uh, what's the difference basically what they say is that the true 10 edition has a color um, what they call it of 10 bit 10 bit colors that they can reproduce which is uh highly doubt uh is highly doubted by the uh, community because um it's most likely a marketing gimmick rather i have nothing to test it i don't have any special equipment apparently you need some kind of graphics card they are very very limited uh, professional graphics cards that allow output of 10 bit um, video so that is one thing you should take note of so anyway let's just go through the specs uh, as LED backlit uh, this model here the true 10 edition uh, you doesn't use the Samsung PLS panel that the QNIX 2710 does uh, instead what this use is the AUO's AHVA panel and that's the um, the equivalent of IPS as well as PLLS, uh, similar tech, not technology, I'm not sure, but it's the similar kind of quality you're supposed to get. And yes, there are great viewing angles, which you will see. And I will just add in the video clips and the color reproduction, picture, picture quality, etc. is just absolutely fabulous. Now, um, let's just change the image every once in a while. Um, the thing about this monitor is that um, it is marketed uh, on their selling, seller's page to be able to be overclocked to 120 hertz and it has amazing response time according again to the product uh, detail page but uh, that is not true that those are all not true I've tested it out to the best of my ability and uh, there were frame skipping if you uh, overclock the monitor yes you can overclock it but there is frame skipping which reduces the the amount of um, it becomes basically becomes useless the refresh rate even if you overclock it so there it is overclockable but uh, you will not get a result that you want and the next thing is that the response time is that I have tested it against my Asus uh, IPS monitor uh, the product specifications for 
that monitor, the ML239H, I believe, is that it has a response time of 5 uh, milliseconds. I've used a like a timer-based kind of test, which you will see a few images. And the Qnix monitor that I have is usually a faster sorry slow by about 10 milliseconds so if you want to believe the product specification stated by asus uh, then you would expect a response time of about 15 milliseconds there about 15 to 20 so uh, it's kind of slow but does it really affect your gaming uh, for casual gamers even hardcore gamers as long as i don't believe you are competitive or what you shouldn't really mind uh, the response time at least i don't at least that's for me so that's for the response time and um so yeah this is a 2560 by 1440p uh, uh, resolution monitor that's the quad the bqx hd resolution kind of thing um, it is amazing yeah if you haven't tried a uh, 1414p monitor uh, you shoot the extra screen estate is absolutely amazing for uh, any kind of use whether it's general web browsing um, even doing uh, your work uh, writing a document or even watching videos etc it's just amazing the extra screen estate is just so useful now um i've talked about the colors already uh, it's just very very good as you can see of course you cannot see sorry you cannot see through a camera it's really hard to tell but uh, from what I can see and comparatively to my previous panel uh, it's just as amazing um, there is just one thing though uh, it has this anti-glare uh, coating kind of thing a very light one uh, it's kind of similar to the Dell Ultra Sharp monitors if you can say so but um it isn't as aggressive uh, if i only can remember uh that the u2711 the ultra sharp u2711 and the u3011 uh, by dell uh, those monitors had a very very uh, aggressive um, coating anti-glare coating and uh, this one is slightly better i would say uh, it wouldn't affect you so much but for people who are fans of um, the tempered glass kind of display, um, you might not be too happy with this anti-glare kind of thing. Uh, of course, uh, the tempered glass kind of thing has uh, pros and cons. The cons mainly is because of reflections, which I did experience a lot uh, when I had my Chiva Shimian. It basically was a tempered glass uh, addition. The, they place a glass in front but uh, what it does is that it does make the colors look a little bit more vibrant uh, not and uh, yeah that's about it really so the trade-off for this anti-glare coating kind of thing is that you have less reflections uh, and uh, the thing is that you will um, have slightly very very slightly um, washed out uh, colors just to say but of course um, the they aren't that bad you know if it's just a little bit a little bit i there is really up to personal preference i would say for people that are in places where there are a lot of light sources um, the tempered glass will definitely not be a suitable choice and many people do uh comment about that as well so it's really up to you but overall i think that is very very good the qual the color quality etc is just absolutely amazing so of course this higher end model with all of the extra this uh, the input display input uh, allows you to have a osd which you will be seeing um, it has some adjustments here and there like brightness and then contrast etc uh, not too much uh, as you would expect from a budget monitor uh, it's definitely not comparable to your likes of all your professional monitors your Dell, the more expensive models from Dell, BenQ, etc. Uh, it's just very, very basic settings, but uh, they would do um, for you to make sure that you can calibrate the monitor to the best of your ability. So uh, that's about it, really. Uh, this is the Qnix. Uh, I just forgotten the name. This is a True 10 edition. Uh, I, I think the main difference is just the panel. 
because on the box, um, what differentiated this True 10 edition from the previous one, which is the multi, uh, the DP multi edition, is that they pasted a sticker on the exact same box that just say True 10, and that's all it is to differentiate between the True 10 edition and the not True 10 edition. So that's about it. Uh, yeah, I'm very very happy with my purchase, and I, I'm just so excited and. For all of you who do not know about these monitors, is that it's basically uh, 2560 by 1440p monitors that are of great quality at half the price that you can pay for. Uh, that's about it. So I'll see you guys again soon. If you have any questions, do post it and I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability.